Hey, welcome back everyone, Toysha's here, and I am back yet again for yet another DC Multiverse video, and today we're going to be checking out the Gold Label Amazon Exclusive, that is a three-pack box set that totally reminds me of when Hasbro took over for Kenner and started doing all the weird Batman variants and three-packs and Toys R Us and Walmart packs, and you get the idea, but this one contains Clayface, Batman, and and Batwoman. Not a whole lot going on, although the artwork does finally match the box, but as you can see, it's just the box with figures in it. So, not a whole lot to talk about there, but in the meantime, hopefully, this is going to be fun. So sit back, relax, grab yourself a nice hot cup of coffee. This is a look at the Amazon Gold Label Exclusive Clayface, Batman, and Batwoman, part of the DC Rebirth DC Multiverse line by McFarlane Toys. So here's everything out of the box. There's not a whole heck of a lot of new here, but I primarily wanted it, obviously because of Batwoman. Batman comes with his Bat Grapnel, which yes, we have seen before. Does he hold it? Yes, he holds it quite nicely, and that's pretty much it. It's just gonna be a looking up and positioning it in a grapply kind of style. We've seen this Batman before. Bit of a DC Rebirth, bit of a Greg Capullo Batman. Cool looking Batman, one that I already do have. It's just a little bit lighter in color now. He's got some purple on the underside of the cape. The other side is black. So it's a lot closer to some styles of how this Batman was drawn, the colors, and you'll get plenty of articulation. Again, not too much to talk about. There's some scuffage here and there. Yours may have it, may not. But in terms of the articulation, if you've never had this Batman, you're just looking to get a McFarlane Batman, I think you'll do well with this Batman. It's just not the more classic-ish type suit. It's more of the more modern-ish, recent years sort of Batman, right? Now, with Clayface, Technically, you could say Clayface comes with these batarangs. They're really for Batman and Batwoman. They're all black. They have a little bit of the clay residue on them. You can insert them into the joints of Clayface. Like, <laughs> if you wanted to go that route. Clayface, here's the problem. Now, I did get this Amazon exclusive pack on sale. There was a big coupon. There was a percentage off the whole nine yards. So I thought, wow, for the price I'm getting it for, not too shabby. I get another clay face, which I have the first one. This one's a little bit more Batman the Animated Series inspired with the more yellowish eyes. You've got a little bit darker tone this time around for clay face. Same type of articulation. Although, I'm going to be honest here. They goof this mold or they use different materials. It feels very different from the first release of clay face, especially in his back and his shell. That you kind of see it very much doesn't want to stay together. If you drop this, this will just break infinitely, right? He still has the midsection, which is like a rubbery. Now, I've seen the Amazon reviews of people posting photos, and I've had people write in, my knees on this clay face are frozen. They don't move. And I've seen the photos of people moving them, and they instantly broke off. So that is something to definitely consider when getting this. I wouldn't suggest moving the knees. And for getting a product, that's not something that you want to say. Like, hey, buy this television, but don't ever watch it because it's just pure static, right? That doesn't make any sense. McFarlane, you really got to step up the QC with a lot of your figures. This is definitely an odd box set because in totality, it feels like it was just kind of thrown together at the last minute, right? And for whatever they did to Clayface, he really is the worst one in the box. Now for me to reiterate, the reason I got this was it was on sale, but I wanted the Batwoman figure and she comes with a bat grapnel. So Batman and Batwoman come with bat grapnels. That's exciting, right? So you see that, yes, she has an open hand. She has a fisted hand, just like Batman. And it's the perfect grapnel holding hand. That's really it when it comes to this figure, unless you want to use the batarangs. Batwoman, Kate Kane. This is a nice looking figure, but it is a reuse of a lot of different parts and pieces from different figures. Does it work to achieve this version of Batwoman? 
It does in many ways. I love the hair. I love that they did that red. They got a little orange in there. It looks like the artwork. They really nailed the way that that looks. It's a big wig that she wears, right? The face portrait is really done well. The body, the upper torso with the Batman Beyond logo, you get the idea. Now, the arms and certain parts of the legs are going to be reuse of the Nightfall Catwoman. Does that matter? Well, not everyone likes to see a bunch of reuse, right, all the time, and that's really become McFarlane's mainstay, unfortunately. This time around, though, I feel like it's well used to craft a new figure. It kind of looks like parts and pieces of her costume, or in other words, they've kind of McFarlaneized a little bit, whereas there shouldn't be excess lines and such, like a Jim Lee sort of deal. I like the boots, the knees, plenty of articulation in this figure, and again, while it is a lot of reuse, there are some new parts and pieces, and overall, yeah, I do like this Kate Kane action figure. The cape could have had a little bit better paints, but as I keep saying with my videos on McFarlane Toys, it's always three steps forward, five steps back, right? And in looking at this Clayface figure with Batman and, of course, Batwoman, they're fun. They're great to look at from afar, Batman and Batwoman certainly fare better, but this is not a set that I would recommend, especially for kids. I feel like kids would just obliterate the clay face. They'd break that thing in two seconds. So no, that's not going to be fun for any type of kid when you want to give this as a gift, let's say. But in utilizing the DC Multiverse collection, having a little bit more of the Bat family involved, Nightwing, Red Hood, you get the idea. Some of these will go together. It's more of the DC Multiverse, right? All the various looks, the various costumes. This is missing that. This is missing this. It all just varies, right? But for me, having Batwoman, and I know that she comes from the more modern-ish type era, you can still have some fun with this figure. And again, it's a nice member addition to the whole Bat family. And then just to kind of show you up close, while it is a mix of the Batgirl cape, and then you got the Catwoman Nightfall, right? So you get to see what they've reused, parts and pieces, Yada, yada. Again, as I'll reiterate, this one fares a lot better than some of the more recent DC Multiverse figures where you're just like, yeah, this is plain reuse. And just to show Clayface with a bunch of villains. Now, this is the Basil Carlo version. Again, more modern-ish take on Clayface. An extra head portrait, a different head portrait, making him more Matt Hagen, right? That would have been very cool. Or giving him parts and pieces to do shape changing something so through and through this is not a bad box set if you get it on a sale price right just to get it for batwoman if that's the figure you're missing that works sale price you get a big clay face and a batman but then to tell you the clay face doesn't work very well there's problems with it he can be kind of loose in some instances and then oh yeah it can't really move the joints or else it'll break right so that's not cool at all Get it on a sale price if you absolutely need it, or get Batwoman some other way if you absolutely have to have her. This is one of those where you can totally pass unless you're a big Batwoman fan. But I digress. You've heard my thoughts. Now I'm curious to know yours. Comment below, let me know. Let's talk hey, everything DC Multiverse. And I'm going to leave you guys with that. As always, drink some great coffee, eat some great food, but most importantly, remember, when it comes to these variant box sets, right, where they're all kind of packed in, one new figure... It's the way it goes, unfortunately. It's the way it's always been. But in totality, maybe we can work on adding a few new parts and pieces to make it worth our while. And when we do, let me know what you found. I'll talk to you guys soon. Adios.